Everyone, we've got the man from the moon here. Yes! I used to be the man in the moon, Tony Harris. It's my name. But now... Now? Now I'm not I'm on Earth. Can you believe it? I can't. I used, to, I used to shine down on everybody. I know. I haven't done that now since since Apollo 11. That's a long time ago. Yeah. So you've been down here for ages? Yeah. Well, what do you do down on Earth? Oh, what I do is I try to get my story out. Yes. Right. My story that began on the moon. <laughs> well, you've come to no better place than Digitizer because, yes. you know, with our... Hundreds and thousands of viewers. Yes, I've seen you get sometimes as many as three thousand viewers an episode. <laughs> your um, your story is going to be seen by many and heard by many. Yes, well, spread the word. Tony Harris is quite the story for you. Mm. What happened, see? Yes. When the, when the they sent the men up to the moon. The astronauts. The astronauts. In 1969. The, the astronauts, I'd call them. Yes, what? they you were don't told like that. Them. Yes, Neil and Buzz and the other one up in the up in the command module. You don't like them? No, they were told. See, they've been told. You see, they bring back some some samples, and they brought me back. Yes, I oh. didn't know they brought me back. Oh. Tony Harris from the moon. Why, have, why has nobody heard of this? Well, I covered it up. You see, because they they got back. And Neil, Neil and Buzz, they didn't know I was in there. They fl- f- took off from the moon. So you, they and didn't. They heard, they heard a noise. Mm. They heard a noise, and they said, "What's that? <laughs> What's that? It's a little man in our capsule." But then that means they didn't know they were bringing you back no, as a sample. I gathered up a lot of rocks in their carrier bag. Oh, and you were in there. Oh, but they could scoop me up too. <gasps> and they took me back, and I got. They, they said, "What the? What the hell is a little man?" We gathered, gathered up from the moon, <laughs> and they said to me, "They said, what, what are you doing here?'" I said, "I don't know. I was just minding my own business. I was about to go and see my friend Janet from Number Three, and I said these big gloved hands came down and they scooped me up and they put me in a carrier bag. What? Yeah, and then I was bundled into the the, the rocket, and they took off. And I said, "You got to take me back." I said, you got to take me back. I got, I got to see Janet. Janet wanted me to do her feet. How many? To, to take, rub off the dry skin on Janet's feet. How many people live on the moon? Oh, it's quite a few. Is they that... all look like you. Well, yes. How do you walk? I mean, you don't. Is it okay if I touch you? No, no, no. What are you doing? I want to see, like, if your feet. Can reach the floor of your chin. Don't dragging. say to someone you've only just met, can I touch you? <laughs> it's not appropriate. Sorry, that's right, it's not. Not right? I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Don't start fiddling around with them. I'm sorry. Even if they do say yes, that's all right, it's still too forward. So, I said to them, so you- you've got to take me back to mm. the moon. And they were like, You've never gone back. Well, they said we'd, we'd use up too much fuel. Perhaps someone at NASA could take you back. Mm. But then what happened when the capsule came into the Earth's atmosphere? They opened the door and threw me out. <gasps> they threw me out over the sea. Because they didn't want they didn't want the NASA finding out that they brought back the man from the moon. Oh no. Yes. And so you had to swim? Yes, my little arms. I you swam, paddling. I swam to Florida. And I spent ages in Florida. Yeah. Trying, trying to get people to believe my story. What happened? Yes. I tried to get in touch with Armstrong and Aldrin. Yes. And the other one from the capsule. You don't remember his name? Yes, Michael. Ah, oh, good. Yeah. Well done. I don't know his name. It's, it's, character, it's, it's character stuff. Yeah, good. Yeah, and I, I tried, I call, I, I, I went to public appearances. Mm-hmm. And These have been covered up because I have not yes. seen anything with you. The only time I had interaction with them, mm. yeah, was Aldrin went to his book lodge. And I said, ah, Buzz, you remember me? You said you were going to see if I could be taken back to the moon. And what did he say? He punched me in the, in the mouth. Oh, no, poor Tony He's an angry man, is Aldrin. Yeah, I think he did have some anger issues because he, he wasn't first on the moon. He punched me and then he 
Because you were first yeah. on the moon. And maybe. then he stretched his braces. Went, Look at me. Like, like that. <laughs> yeah, like he was, like he was proud of himself. Oh, does he wear braces? Not braces in his teeth. Stretch them. It's his thing now. Stretched his Invisalign and said, "Look at me." Americans call them suspenders. That's correct. Yes, that's correct. I learned that because I said to him, "Why are you stretching your braces like that for, Aldrin?" And he said, "The what?" <laughs> I said, just braces are just stretching it like that, not like you're all proud. And he went, what do you mean, these? These are my suspenders. Oh. And I went, I mean something else where I come from. <laughs> I said, you wear <laughs> suspenders, I hear you, big, you big wuss. And he went, shut up, you little freak. And I said, the name's Tony Harris. I'm from the moon, everyone. And then security, it took me, it took, they took me by the arms and they threw me out. Oh, dear. Yes. See, you've got a little bit of red around your nostrils. It's like such a, a bit, rude woman that I've just met. A Such a rude woman. No, no, I'm, I'm concerned. Have you got a cold? No, I'm from the moon. We don't get, get human viruses. Well, you've been here for a long time. Yeah. You must have... But like, Janet's feet must be in a terrible state. Yeah, well, is Janet even still alive? Well, how indeed. How long do you live? A long time. Well, how many years? Millions. Oh, so Janet... How old is Janet? It's uh, 78 million years old. And how, <laughs> how old are you? Oh, 200 million. Billion. So you're older than Janet. 200 million billion years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how long Tony Harris has been alive. You're older than Janet. Yes, I'm older than Janet. Oh. Even though she's more decrepit than me. She's got bad back. Oh. She's got uh, bad feet. Oh. Saggy boobs. <laughs> oh dear. She makes me rub the dry skin off them too. <laughs> well, that's TMI, really. What are we doing here, do... anyway? What? So... I've, I've told my story. Tell everyone, please. We've... About Tony Harris, he needs to get back to the moon to check on Janet. We start the campaign here. Tony Harris needs to get back to the moon and check on Janet. So, campaign to send Tony Harris back to the moon. Yes. Please, please help us raise awareness. Awareness of Tony so Harris. So Tony Harris can go back home to the moon. Tony Harris. Yes, Tony Harris from the moon. Do you like cheese? Well, we have a lot of it on the, on the moon. Do you? Yes. Oh, I didn't people, know if that was real. Well, people think the moon's made of cheese. It's not made of cheese. It's not? No. Nah. What's it made of? Looks of <laughs> magma. Magma? <laughs> Dried up magma. But we do have a very good cheese shop. You have shops there? Yes. So I'm able to get the stuff for Janet's feet. What on earth? Yeah. I never really, I never would have known. Yes. We got a, we got a chemist. Mm. Got post office. Mm-hmm. Got uh, uh, what? Uh, of all the people on the moon, why do you only miss Janet? Are you married to her? No, you're my friend from number three. Oh, she's a good friend. She, uh, when my wife left me, she, uh, oh, yes, yeah, she used to bring me over dinner. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's shepherd's pie, mm-hmm. uh, chicken care, mm-hmm. and normally she'd uh, put it in a, a top of a tub of a little, a little bit of Viennetta in it. <laughs> What, with the dinner? In the nine, the top of the top, the Vionetta. Oh, the t- oh, okay. Yeah, she'd so bring the dinner over. Not, she wouldn't bring the dinner over in a Tupperware tub with Vionetta with the no, dinner. No, ridiculous. Cause... She'd bring the the dinner. Would be would have one of those metal lids on to keep yes. it warm. Metal lids. Yes, a heating lid. Oh, I don't know about those. They must only be. You covered the, moon. the plate. It, it, they it, must it. just be a moon thing. That's a moon. It's thing. not a moon thing. I've seen them on Earth. I've never keep heard of keep them. Keep your dinner warm. I've not. I don't know what you're talking about. The lid about. on your plate. To keep the dinner warm. A metal lid. <laughs> like a saucepan lid. No. It's a heating... Oh, those big dome things. No, that it's not even up. that big. I don't know why I'm having this discussion. <laughs> you got a, you got the man from the moon here. You're, you're debating with him about the types <laughs> of lids to keep the food warm. What a wasted opportunity. So you're saying the moon landing was not a hoax? Yes, oh no. Hey, I'm, I'm testament to that because they put me in their bag and brought me back. Yeah. You're what? here to. Okay. What? You're here to bring hey, the okay. truth. <laughs> <laughs> You're here to bring the truth. Okay, we didn't cheese. What's going on? I did a high kick. <laughs> what are you giving high kicks for? 
Are your feet ticklish? Don't touch. You barely know me, and you now want to touch my feet. Janet, I had to know her for at least half an uh, epoch. <laughs> Thought she'd let me go anywhere near her feet. Oh. They're in a bad state then, I tell you. Yeah, I bet they are. How come your feet? Who does your feet? Why are you looking down there? Who does, who does, who does your feet? <laughs> you looking down there for? Who does your feet? I don't need to. My feet are lovely. Does Janet look like you? A woman. Yeah, but does she have like little hands and feet like you do? Yes, but with a couple of boobies hanging down. <laughs> Just hanging under her chin. How does she walk then? They must scrape along the floor. I told you they're in a bad state. Well, that's not her feet that are in a bad state. Okay. Do her feet even reach the floor? Yes, and her boobies do too. So she's got ooh. very chapped nipples. Yeah, I bet. Chapped, bleeding. Yeah, she needs to put like a protective, like. A protective cover on them. Like you'd put on food to keep it warm. A metal cover. Correct. A couple of them to cover her ample boobies. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So would you like to taste some cheese? Someone yeah. sent someone really kind sent us some lovely, gorgeous, fancy food oh, from what's another his country. Name? What's his name? Joe Gallagher. What country is Joe Gallagher from? Okay, so I'm going to say it uh, in the way that my husband likes me to say it. Ireland. Oh, um, what? what's the other way that you say it that your husband doesn't like? I don't know. You have to say it in the funny way. It's not a funny way. The it's weird just the way, way that my friend told me to say it when it's... I was little, and then it got drummed into yeah, me. Yeah, she says, uh, so I've been told, says Ireland in a funny way. Yes. She says it like Ireland. <laughs> so I've been told. <laughs> and then I heard myself Ireland. say it. <laughs> <laughs> so she'll be talking normally, <laughs> like, gonna... la la la, la la la, I'm going on holiday to Ireland. No, with the R. Ireland. Like a pirate. Like a pirate. And it, yes, it doesn't suit. Are you alright there? Are you okay? Uh, Are you feeling alright? Yeah. We can get Are to, to this cheese. God knows how long this okay. episode's gonna be. Okay, so Joe Gallagher. From Ireland. 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 So he sent us a lovely card and even did a picture of Venus. Oh. He's our friend as well. Oh, that's lovely. We'll put the picture up on screen so you can put see it picture up on screen. And Who's we have been sent. He's our friend. Oh, he's your friend. Mm. Like my friend Janet. Like your Jan- friend Janet. But Jan- we don't. We don't do his feet. Janet Morris. Yeah, like Janet Morris. But we don't do his yeah. feet. Anyway, so Joe sent us a lot of lovely delicacies. Oh. Um, some of which were. Soda bread. It was a mix to make soda bread and wheat and bread. Oh. So, would you like some cheese on that? Because yeah, we have bread on the moon, but we don't call it bread. What do you call? What do you call we it? Call it. I can't say that. The moon. Yeah, yeah. We go to the bakery and say I have a loaf. Of... So, would this be called? Soda bread? And how would you say Wheaton bread? Wheaton. Oh, so Wheaton is just Wheaton, and then the bread is. Nice. Yes. Okay. And this is the cheese we've got. Just one. Uh, well, we have lots of other things. Ooh. So we have Ooh. to go with it some Irish black butter. Oh, which black butter! I know. I'm actually really excited to taste this. On the moon, oh, I we need don't to get... pronounce it butter. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? <laughs> okay, that's just being silly now. <laughs> that's not just how we say it. No, you do not say butter as. <laughs> <laughs> no. You do not say butter like that. <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody says butter like that. You don't want you racist. No, you I... racist. Okay, so you can have some butter. So what? Some. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. We've got some. 
We've got some rich and fruity Irish gin oh, and cranberry gin. relish. It's not just gin, it's oh. gin and cranberry relish. Relish? Yes. And then we have some nice sweet things. Oh, like me. De oh, delicious no. handmade chocolates, which come in a lovely box. Can't wait to try them. I mean, neither. In, in my it. planet, the moon, we don't, we don't call it chocolate. <laughs> Oh, yum, they look really they good. They call it... Oh, oh. <laughs> We've got some fudge, vanilla fudge. <coughs> A.K.A. Ah, ah. Wait, I missed chocolate. <laughs> I, just, I literally just <laughs> tuned it out. Such a racist. <laughs> oh, my God. I, just, <laughs> I heard you so that out i don't know um and then we've got some other chocolate chocolate and ginger chocolate oh ah. <laughs> <laughs> i had one gluten-free cracker left don't lick your fingers i won't and um it's broken into tiny pieces so uh that's what i'm gonna have um tony harris hello would you like to try some yes. bread and cheese? Yeah. All right. Let me let me assemble that for you. <laughs> the hell is that? Oh, black butter. Black butter, ramachab. <laughs> Can I just look at the ingredients? Bramley apple, brown sugar, treacle, which is cane cane molasses. Um. Arm apple cider, brandy, natural flavor, natural licorice flavoring. Oh, I like it. Mm. So, I wonder if the, does this go with the cheese? It looks very much like marmite. You know what? I'll just give you a little bit by itself. I'm gonna have to levitate it to my mouth using my special powers. Okay, levitate it to your mouth. So this is just the butter by itself. Oh, I need a napkin. Moon! I'm sorry? Um, man Morris. Get back if I go to Tony Earth. Tony <laughs> Morris, what are you doing? <laughs> what do you think of... How do you say bread again? Ugh, ugh. No. Do you like the... Wheaton... With black butter? Very nice. Not much like normal butter, is it? Do you think... I haven't had any yet. I'm going to taste it a little bit. Do you think it would go well with cheese? Yes. Like it's a bit like a chutney. Mm. Yes, chutney. Mm. Do you like chutney? Yeah, I do like chutney. That is very, very nice. Janet. That is exquisite. Damn it! Mm. Makes her own chutney. Out of what? A pause. <laughs> Very pause like animals. Skin pause. She sweats chutney, but since you puts it in jars. I'm going to cut some cheese. No, cancel uh, and delete. That. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, Tony Morris. Uh, gonna do a big fart. <laughs> Tony Morris. <laughs> Please. We can fart all we like on the moons and the way. I want some more of that black butter, please. Oh, you like it? Well, I'm going to give it to you with some cheese. Oh. Or do you just want it by itself? I'm quite hungry. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit. Okay, no, no. It's how I put it on the, the, the cheese. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put the black butter on the soda bread black now. Butter. <laughs> I thought I was going to open This cheese. is soda bread. Well, I haven't opened the cheese yet. Oh, 
Tell you what. Okay, let's open the cheese. Tell you what. Yes. Bloody good. It is really good. I can't Bloody wait to good. have more. Yeah. Tony Morris likes that. This, does this look like the moon? Moon's not black. Moon's shiny. It is on the dark side. Yeah. Have, have you been to the dark side? Oh, yeah. What's over there? I've been there with Janet. <laughs> What's over there? What's in the dark side? I've been to the dark side with Janet, if you know what I mean. What's on the dark side? Uh, but my dentist. Your and dentist is there's on... There's also a water park. It's a water park? Yeah, it's on the moon. I don't know the moon. Do you know what it's called? Um, Moonbeams Rides Galore. No. That's a terrible name. <laughs> It's awful. Well, ha, it is a lovely name. It's an awful moonbeam, Moonbeams Rides Galore. Moonbeams Fun Times Park. No. Do you want to Do you want to know what it's called or not? Yes, please. Tell me what Jesus, it's called. Jesus, let's get some food out and she goes insane. What was it called? Splashy Waters. <laughs> oh, God, and you didn't like Moonbeams Rides Galore. Okay, would you like your cheese? Yes. With the black butter or with the gin and cranberry relish? I just want more of that black butter, but I'll try it with both things. Um, okay. Well, I'll give you the What's gin, this? gin and cranberry relish. I, I, so, I relish the chance to eat that. Irish gin and cranberry relish. What did, what did the... Oh, this is a big... What did the again, policeman you're... say to the Irish alcoholic? Mm. Irish gin in the name of the law? <laughs> It's really good. This is a huge chocolate. It's really cheese. good. Huh? <laughs> wow. Oh, it dripped on my hand. There's a lot of flavours going on there. Jesus, this is all good stuff. Mm. That cheese. The cheese is top. I'm gonna try the cheese with the relish. Oh god, that's good. Oh my god, that's good. Mmm. The relish <sighs> is so good. The relish is so good. I know this so, not... Oh okay, the company name that makes the relish is Urn Larder. Urn Larder Irish Gin and Cranberry Relish. <sighs> They're not nice noises, Tony Morris. Some people are averse to eating sounds. I wasn't making eating sounds, I did it. Oh, Tony Morris is gross. I'm tasting the air. <laughs> like a snake. Like a serpent. This is so good. Are you ready? I think I've given you... I think I've cut the piece way too big. Yes, it did last time. <laughs> Is it too big for it's you? It's quite a lot of... Uh, very cheesy taste. Do you want me to cut it smaller? No. I thought you said you were hungry. That's why I did it a huge piece. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a perverted thing, by the way. <laughs> no, it's not. No, trust me. It is not. We're not eating these out of corners out of four because it's all very good. So five corners out of four. What do you think of it? Oh. What a pig. Mm. What a big pig. Mm. What did you just say? <laughs> I said, isn't this fun, everybody? Mm. I tell you what. I tell you what. Mm -hmm. I fear we're losing momentum because we're enjoying the food so much. I think that's happening. Mm -hmm. I think let's move on mm. to the other food and then after the camera's off, we'll just pig ourselves out. I didn't have lunch because I was saving myself. I'm, I'm enjoying it a little bit too much and I'm forgetting we've got an audience. That's true. Okay, let's try. Yeah, I know. I'm really loving it. <laughs> <So> <laughs> really just... lovely food. It's really lovely food. Thank you, Joe Gallagher. Thank you, Joe Gallagher. Brother of Noel and Leanne? No, that's the wrong one. What? He's not the brother of Noel and Leanne. Ah, you mean Paul Gallagher is? I wouldn't know. He is? So these are chocolates made by Cobden and Brown Artisan Chocolatiers. In the 90s, I was big into my Britpop. 
Oh yeah, because uh, you've you've been briefly here. a bit of a player in the pop b- 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 scene. You used to go to Camden, World's End. Used to hang out with the br- bass player from Blur. Did you just? He play- do makes cheese now. Did you know that? Did does he? Yes. Blurry cheese. Yes, his name's Alex James. So you didn't just float around. You're a bit hard to look at, but... Why? I don't know, it's just a little bit weird. So let's try chocolate. This one will fit easily into your mouth. I'll have the same one. It looks like a cockroach. Mmm. What's in that? What's in it? Answer me! What's in that? Answer me! Answer me, woman! I'm trying to figure it out. Wait, the one to pop. Say, say chocolate again. Ah! I'm trying. Ah! To, I'm trying to figure out that. Hmm. Tiny Harris's skin is very itchy. I think I got psoriasis now. I just want more food. Mm. I don't know what flavour it is, but I think it might have like a, a hint of ginger. A hint of ginger, very nice. Oh, Would and you like some fudge? fudge. Yeah, yeah. Janet makes her own fudge, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to ask. <laughs> the chutney comes out of her paws. I don't want to know about the, the fudge. Comes out of her oh. dog. Her dog? Her dog makes Her dog makes fudge. Oh, yes. Big logs of it. Oh, okay. There you go. Big log of fudge. Tony Harris, not the biggest fan of fudge, mm. but my god, that just melts in the mouth. That's a very good fudge. Jack's fudge. Mm. It's better than Janet's dog's fudge. I'm a big fan of fudge, and that is beautiful. That this is, is so good. This, Jack's fudge, everyone. If, if Mr. Biffo was here, and you know what he'd say? What? This is the best corner shop corner they've ever done. <laughs> I think it is. This is the nicest food. Jesus we've... Christ. This is the nicest food. Because we're not buying corner shop crap. <laughs> <laughs> we? Someone, someone sent us some nice food. This is, uh, this is, this is blown us away. What's this now? Now this is, um, chocolate. Wah, wah. Ah, wah. <laughs> it's made out of chocolate and ginger. Who is it by? I'm um, sorry. It's by Cobden and Brown again. Oh, Brown. Cobden and Brown. Yeah. Janet makes her own chocolate, you know. <laughs> not going there. We're not going there. You're a bit obsessed with Janet. I like her. Like every dog. Finally, my blood sugar's returning to normal. Like, I swear, I, I've waited all day for this food. Didn't have any lunch. Um, and now I feel myself kind of reintegrating. In... No! That's not nice, Tony Morris. On, on Harris? Earth. Harris? Tony Harris, on Earth. People don't like it when other people do that. On earth, we don't do that. I don't understand your Just have some chocolate. Castle. Fill your mouth with... More. More. More food. Jesus. Mmm. Bloody hell. I, I really want more bread and, um, not bread, the well, cheese what, and crackers. Let's just, perhaps we should just move on so we can just finish this bloody episode and this, this, this. is That's it. We've tasted everything. Oh, thank we you, have Joe. Tasted it. Thank you so much, Joe. We are going to have the best time with this food. Listen. When this episode's I, I got over. a message from We're Mr. Gonna... Biffo. What did Mr. Biffo say? How did you get a message from Mr. Biffo? Uh, on my antenna. <laughs> Is, it, is this your... Don't touch my antenna! Is that your antenna? What? That dot. Is that your antenna? You're pointing out moles on me now, are you, woman? I'm asking if it's your antenna. Go see my antenna. Not showing you. Okay. I'll show Janet my antenna. I bet you. <laughs> I bet you. I'll show Janet twice. <laughs> said it's the biggest antenna she ever saw. She said, I bet you can pick some stuff up with that. But you picked a few things up with that, she said. Why, does it have like a grabber on the end? Uh, not like exactly. Claw. claw. So Mr. Biffo says, mm. if anyone else would like to send us some foods, particularly <laughs> if it's lovely. <laughs> it's really lovely. Particularly lovely. You can yes. send it to the P.O. box address below. Mm-hmm. But don't 
don't forget to put digitizer on it because it goes to the, the cheap show PO box, all right? I don't know what any of that means, but it's what Mr. Biffle said. That's what he said, so we have to listen to him. So thank <sighs> you very much, Joe. Thank we... you, Joe. Mr. Biffle really also says thank it. you, Joe. He's going to look forward to eating some of that later. And Tony Morris says thank you, Joe. Harris. Harris. Tony Harris, 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 Harris. Tony Harris. 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 Is it Harris or Morris? Harris. I can't remember it's now. Harris it's Harris Morris. It's Harris because I asked if you made Harissa. Yes, it's Harris. Yes. I knew that. Yes, it's Harris. I'm the man from the moon. Yes, it's Harris. So, that's it then. Yeah, that's it. Let's, um, we just want to eat now. Thank you for spreading the eat. word about my plight. We want to eat the rest of this now. Yeah, I'm going to eat and then try to go back to the moon. Yeah, good luck with that. Yes, good luck with that, Tony Harris. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> God.